So a lot of the work being done these days on board the International Space Station, uh, not only to continue scientific research and things like that, but also to prepare us for what's coming next. Exploration to very far off destinations, asteroids, Mars, Moon, all these places we're really excited to go. And while there's a lot of work being done in space, there's also a lot of work being done down here on the ground. One of those projects taking place here at the Johnson Space Center is the, uh, the development of the spacesuits uh, that future Orion travelers might be wearing. Joining me now to talk about the work that's taking place is NASA astronaut Rex Walheim, who's uh, the chief of the exploration branch inside of the astronaut office, works pretty heavily with Orion, and has been very integral in a lot of these uh, tests. Now, first off, uh, the suit. Let's talk about the suit real sure. quick. It's a very familiar suit. Yes, Big it is. orange pumpkin suit that they wore on the shuttle. Yep, and that's why the term MACES, or the modified ACES suit, which is uh, it's a offshoot of the suit we wore during the space shuttle's launch and entry phases. So the modified portion is what we're working on to try to get it to do more than it did during the shuttle program. And that more that you guys are working on. So it was a launch and entry suit. So yes. the astronauts, they only wore it when they were launching off and when they were coming back you down. Bet. And there. what do we want to add to so that? So we want to add the capability of doing an EVA or a spacewalk with this suit, which is a tricky proposition because mm -hmm. it was designed originally as an ACES suit as just launch and entry, so it could hold pressure, but it wasn't meant to give you the mobility to do all the types of tasks you would generally do on a spacewalk. Now, why would we want to just, I mean, because traditionally we've had two suits. We've had the launch and entry, and we've had the great big EMU, the great big white spacewalking suit. Why would we just want one? You bet. Now, if I had my druthers, I'd take my white EMU mm -hmm. spacewalking suit with me wherever I go in space. However, you know, with the Orion program, we're going to beyond low Earth orbits. So we're going out to these deep space destinations. Mm -hmm. That it takes a lot, of, uh, a lot of thrust and a lot of gas to get out there, so weight is a big issue. Mm -hmm. So uh, anything we can do to reduce the weight, the launch weight and the landing weight actually also, is very important. So if we can make a suit that can do both the launch and entry, which the orange uh, ACES suit did in the shuttle area, mm -hmm. and also is able to carry out the EVA or the spacewalk functions that our big white uh, spacewalk and suit did, then we can save a tremendous amount of weight. So very real reason to be doing this work and we've been doing some pretty cool tests in the pool. We'll get to those in a second. What's some of the work that you guys have been doing up until this point sure. you know, to prepare to kind of advance the suit to where it is now? Well, we've been taking an incremental approach, so we're doing step by step. And uh, the first step is we, we put ourselves in the, the old ACES suit and, mm -hmm. you know, figured out where the pressure points were and things like that. And uh, it was pretty tricky to work in that. And the, the smart guys in the suit labs, they figured out, well, if you sized it differently, if you kept it as tight as you can, it's going to be a lot more comfortable and you're going to be able to be able to move around a lot mm -hmm. better. So we started with that. And then one of the things we quickly realized uh, was that the uh, gloves were not good enough. The gloves we used in the, uh, on the, in the the ACES suit when we're on the launch and entry, they're meant to be used non-pressurized unless there's an emergency. And then they would pressurize, but uh, they are not. They do not have very good tactile feel when you're pressurized. So we realized quickly that these gloves aren't going to be good enough to do a spacewalk with. So mm -hmm. we switched out what are called Phase Six gloves. And those are our great spacewalking gloves that we use on our on our white uh, EMU spacesuit. So we adapted the Aces to be able to handle those kind of uh, those kind of gloves. And there's also some important things we need to do with the life control, life support system. So mm -hmm. the Aces suit on the shuttle, it's it flows overboard. It's kind of what we call an open loop. So it would flow the uh, the, the air you breathe out overboard mm -hmm. or into the cabin, whereas the uh, well, you can't do that on a spacewalk because you'd use so much uh, so much oxygen that it would yep. be prohibitive. So uh, they modified the ACES so that it has a closed circulation system so that it can recycle the air so you're not losing all that oxygen. So now you're kind of mirroring a little bit of what the EMU already does. Exactly, exactly. So then we got, the, so now we had the closed loop system, we had the, the phase six gloves. Well, one of the other things we need is the ability to stabilize ourselves at a work site. And mm -hmm. to do that, we commonly on our spacewalks and the space station usually what's called a portable foot restraint or a PFR. And a portable foot restraint, you just put your, your, your feet in there, you put them under a toe clip and you you uh, clip your heels underneath the clip and you can stay there with both hands free and be able to work. Um, the ACES suit, the original one with the shuttle, you couldn't do that. And mm -hmm. so the, one of the, the recent, most recent modifications we did was add um, these these boots from the EMU so that we'd be able to you know use these portable foot restraints. So we added that. Um, and uh, and that uh, proved out to be a, a really useful uh, useful addition. Now then, even if we have these these good these good uh, gloves and good boots, another mm -hmm. problem we have with the Aces it just isn't very mobile. And mm -hmm. so we knew that from the start that we're going to have a problem with mobility because when it's pressurized, it's just not an EMU where you can move it really nicely. Yeah. So um, we've added some arm bearings to be able to move the arms a little bit. And so. 
uh, on the uh, test we did last week, we had two suits in the water for the first time, two modified ASA suits for the first time. Mm -hmm. And I worked with Dan Burbank, and he had the uh, the modified ASAs without the arm bearings, and I had them with the arm bearings. So uh, we got to compare that and see how what those arm bearings do for you. And then next week, we'll get in the pool again, Dan and I, mm -hmm. and I get the suit without the arm bearings, and Dan gets the arm bearings. So, uh, we actually have some of the video from last week as well, uh, so we can see you guys working in the pool. So just, I mean, walk, walk me through. What are we looking yep, at so right you, now? So you see the familiar orange suit that we wore on the shuttle, but you also see a bunch of white objects. Number the, One of the big ones you see on my legs there, are, and Dan's legs, are weights. We have to have weights to keep us neutrally buoyant. Mm -hmm. But then you'll see uh, a little bit below, you see that we've got uh, the white boots on. You can see that those are the uh, the spacesuit, the EMU boots. And uh, we have white gloves, which are our phase six uh, gloves also. And so uh, it's kind of a combination there of the, of the two suits. And uh, here we're testing our mobility, basically. We're, we're getting into the in and out of the uh, the space station airlock. Now, it's not really a task we would do on an Orion mission to an asteroid, but it, it's, a, it's a typical task we've trained on many times before so we can test our mobility and see how well we can move around there. And again, here we're doing some more translation tasks, seeing how well you can move around uh, with these new arm bearings and uh, with your face six gloves and your boots. And I remember you talking a little bit about you know, getting into the pool, it's, it's an important step because you kind of learn things about the suit you bet. that you didn't even think about. Right. And it, it's a, it's a big trade-off. It is not an easy thing to go to one suit from two suits. The mm -hmm. reason we had two suits was because they were, they were, they were specialized and they own, they had their, each had their own specific function. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to combine two suits, it gets a little tricky. Obviously, when you, when you're going to have only one suit, when you're in the launch phase, you're going to be unpressurized nominally. So normally you wouldn't have a pressure. So you want the suit to fit comfortably when you're just sitting in the, in the rocket during the launch phase. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's important. Because you're there, you're uh, in there. You're going to be there for hours, many, many yeah. hours, you know. So, but then if you're going to do a spacewalk, that comfortable, you know, loose fitting suit may not be great for doing a spacewalk when it's pressurized because the suit bulges out and, you know, so it tends to extend. To move, right? Now you can't move yeah. as well. So it can be a bit of a problem from that. So you got to have a, a, a bit of a, uh, a, you know, a compromise. And, and I found that out a little bit the hard way on the last test was that I, I, I did a suit fit check before this run. And so I thought I had a good suit fit check. They originally tried me in one suit that was very, very tight. And I said, and this is a little bit too tight. I don't mm -hmm. think we'll be able to do that. So they went to a longer suit, which felt better when it was unpressurized. But then after a while in the water, uh, I found out it was just it was just too long and it was mm -hmm. not fitting me well at all. So we're going to have to go back to the drawing board, get me a smaller suit, see if we can optimize it where it doesn't hurt when it's unpressurized, but you're still able to function mm -hmm. in it when it's pressurized and you're doing a spacewalk. And so what are some of the steps kind of going forward? Or what did you guys really, fo well, first off, what did you guys really focus on last week? What was what were the major elements of last week's The major element of last week, we were just trying to tell whether we could work together as a team, because it was the mm -hmm. first time we had two people in the pool at the same time with this new modified okay. ACES suit. It's really the first time we've uh, we've tested a new suit f together, two of them in the pool, since the you know since we started the uh, the space shuttle program's mm -hmm. EMU. So it's been a long time. So we just see, could we work together? Um, and then we uh, continue to evaluate the new boots, uh, the, the phase six gloves, and then, you know, since I had the wrist bearings and Dan didn't, we could see what kind of difference is that made. And so uh, that we worked all those things together and, and did some typical tasks we would do on the space station as kind of, uh, you know, basically just benchmarking what mm -hmm. we know we can do in the EMU and how hard is that to do it in the, in the, uh, in the uh, ACES suit. Okay, and what are what are some of the things you guys are going to be focusing on going forward, or what are some of the you know some of the cooler tests you guys might have coming up? Well, so we're gonna we're gonna we're going to be uh, swapping suits so we can we can really test out what the function of that arm bearings is. Mm -hmm. I really like those arm bearings, and when they take them away, I'm sure I'm going to see, hey, you know, that wasn't <laughs> such a great idea. Um, so we'll test that, and then we're going to start doing more representative tasks of an asteroid retrieval mission, which is what we want to use this suit for potentially. Could you do some of the tasks we expect to do on an asteroid retrieval mission? Okay. Well, Rex Walheim, uh, NASA astronaut and chief of their exploration branch, again talking to us about the modified ACES suit uh, work being done here <clears throat> at the Johnson Space Center. Uh, Rex, thanks for coming on. It's a really pleasure, cool Dan. suit. Um, good luck in the pool next week. I uh, hope Dan doesn't run too many circles around you with uh, right. those new arm bearings. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Dan.